Hi everyone! Welcome back to Chef Sherry's Plant-Based Kitchen. You know, fall is in the air here in Chicagoland. Dale and I are going to a Cubs game, so we're really layered up today because it's only going to be like in the 60s. So I've got a jacket to go over a sweatshirt that goes over another shirt. So I think we'll be good. But before we go, I thought I would make this chili that I came up with that we just loved. And it's so easy because it's a one-pot meal. So let me show you how easy it is, and then I'll put the directions with the amounts of things in my YouTube channel under the discussion section. So all I did was I took an onion, and I doubled this that recipe because we may be having some company tomorrow. We'll have it for dinner. So I sauteed the onions until they were nice and brown. And then it's so easy what we're going to do. We're going to take two cans of kidney beans, and I leave the juice in them. So I throw it all in because we're going to need liquid, because we're going to make rice in here, too, without having to cook it in a separate pot. So we've got that one can. Here's our second can of kidney beans. And then I like to give it a little contrast with a white bean. So we're going to use some navy beans, two cans of navy beans. And if you just want to make half of this, you just cut this recipe in half. So I'll probably put a single recipe on the, on the YouTube channel. I'm going to mix it together. And then I'm going to take some red peppers, yellow peppers, sort of purple peppers, and orange peppers. So Dale bought these for me at the store, a whole bag of these. I said, well, I better use them. So I tried these in my chili last week, and they really flavor it up beautifully. So let's add in. I have a bunch of peppers I'm putting in, and I love the color of it. Remember, eating plant-based means you eat all the colors in the rainbow. So add as much as you can in terms of vegetables for our fiber. And then I've got two cans of fire roasted tomatoes that have no salt in them. So we've got lots of liquid. Now I'm going to turn up my stove here. And then we're going to mix this together. So look how easy this is. And then you just let it cook. I let it cook for a whole hour because I want the rice to be nice and tender. So I went ahead and I washed two cups of brown rice, and here it is, it's organic brown jasmine rice, and we're going to add, just add it to the pot. So no separate cooking of rice in this recipe, it's really like a rice and beans. And it looks nice and thick, which it will be. Put the rest of my rice in there. And then we start to add our seasonings. So I'm going to take chili powder. And I'm not going to measure it, because I'm just going to put some in. Because we know we need some. That's probably, I'd say, a tablespoon or so. We're going to let that go. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of salt. And then we're going to take some pepper. So again, it's not exact measurements. You can add or delete. You can also season this later on when you're cooking it. You want to taste it anyway. So I will be checking it when it's done to see if it needs more seasoning. But could there be anything easier than that? This is a meal that is hearty. It fills you up. Wouldn't you say, Dale? Didn't Absolutely. It fill you up? Great for fall. It's really good for fall. So we'll have this when we get home from the Cubs game tonight. I'm going to let it simmer here. Put the lid on real low. Whoops, that's the wrong lid. Let me get the right lid out. There we go. I don't want it to get too hot on this pot, so I keep it on a low flame, and I'm just going to let it cook. So let me know what you think of it. I hope you guys have a wonderful fall-like day, wherever you are, that hopefully the heat is leaving us around the country, and fall is coming. So I'll see you next time back in my kitchen. Have a great day, everyone. So long.